have told you, Mr. Emmanuel, I don't do cheap business. See, I am not cut out for long talks. I'm a busy man. Is it that you take the offer or you leave it? Six million naira on the ground before I can issue out an instruction for your... Okay. All right. Take it or you leave it. Simple. Welcome, my prince. What a long journey, sir. You talk too much, Paul. as well. mood if it was not. So you respect your old age and sit. Thanks, sir. As the chairman of the auction bid committee of this company, your job is to give me good news. Nothing more. Did we succeed? We succeeded, sir. Our company scored the highest bid and we have bought the German textile company. And very soon, we'll start to export tons of textile. And I'm planning. Good. That's enough good news for me in one day. Now you spare me the rest of the unnecessary details. I get out of this office. Out! Janet, call me the finance director. Right now. Yes, immediately. that I called a billion times to be. Or you were told 
but you refused to answer my calls because you felt they were not important, right? I was quite busy. I was in a meeting, so they couldn't have told me. Anyway, I know why you're calling. And what have you decided to do about it? Frances! Frances! Yes? What is it? Get me a glass of water. Mom, I have told you the condition of the company right now. I can't withdraw six million naira for your new business, except if you want it as a loan, in which my lawyer will draw the necessary documents. Did I hear you right? A loan? Prince, a loan out of the money that I toiled for 18 years to help your father make? Don't get sentimental over Jesus. this, man. Jesus. Look, daddy is dead. And before he died, he entrusted everything to me, as small as I was. Why? Because he saw the stuff I was made of. I'm only being careful and wise so that I don't let him down. This is business, okay? Oh, I see. So financing my business is letting your father down. Eh? With the money that is more mine than yours? Eh? The business only happened to be. I am business. a trained business administrator, Mom. I went to the best schools. Come on, you know that. Yes. I made sure you went to the best schools. I can remember so vividly your father kicking against it. But I insisted. I paid your fees. Today you are standing here. To play God to us. Um, excuse me, madam. You say, uh, the boss. Will you shut up your mouth? Who, who, who asked for your opinion? You bloody psychophant. Point of correction, mom. It's my personal advisor. Your mouthpiece. Mouthpiece? Press. No. And you won't you get me a glass of water? Don't ever try that. First of all, I believe you live in this house and you should know the way to the kitchen. And for your information, I am much older than you, okay? Prince, little boy, and will ever be. Younger people serve their seniors in my own world. Tension there. 
Oh, what happened? No, no, he, he's alright, he's alright. He's all right, he's all right. Baby, what happened? This is your office. Hey. Be more careful in oh, that your office. Easy, easy. It's okay. You'll be fine. It's okay. It's okay. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. Designed today to be a unique 
at the special day. Not only because today is the day of worship, but also because it is a day of thanksgiving. Come on, the church, shout a big hallelujah. Shout the big hallelujah! It is a day of appreciation and acknowledgement. Bringing of all the wonderful things. The God of Jacob, the God of Isaac, the God of Israel has done for his people. His lordship. We are his lordship. We know nothing. We see nothing and we smell nothing. We are empty. We're just empty, just like a used container of milk that sat on us and tosses us away. Even an empty container is not empty entirely. There is air in it. The air in us is sin. It is dirty, polluted, and stinking. But thank God for His mercy. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. In unity, we can appreciate and acknowledge Christ. And nobody else, not you, not me, just Christ. And that is why we thank God, we give him thanks for all the wonderful things he has done in our life. Oh, praise God. I can feel the God presence here. Begin to open your mouth and appreciate the Begin to appreciate love now. Come on. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Yes, what is it? I'm sorry, sir, but you can't leave. The, the program just started and you're the special guest. Besides, your father is one of the founding members of this church. I see. You want me to sit down there and listen to a sermon that humbles me in front of the whole world because my father was a founding member. Go and tell your pastor he must be a big time joker if that's what he wants. Sorry, excuse me, sir. I I'm sorry, sir, I'm sorry. The sermon wasn't meant to disrespect anybody. It was meant to uplift us to a, a, a higher position which is nearer God. Look, I heard him call me a sheep. A lost sheep for that matter. And then, an empty can of milk. <laughs> he said I know nothing. Me, Prince, that I see nothing. Huh? He was in the right in the West. Yes, he was. I saw him point at me. Look, girl, you're wasting my time, okay? Sorry, excuse me, sir. Excuse me. The, the entire program is going to be a failure if you leave now. You and your program can go to hell for all I care. Nonsense. Move this car. I'm fine. I, I think I'm better now. At least I can stretch the legs. Paul, see, I 
I want to see Annabel. Uh -huh, yes, I want to see Annabel. I try and make it possible. Okay, okay, all right, all right then. I'm expecting you. You're funny, you know. Come sip your drink. Sip your... Hello. Hello, Mr. Paul. Hey, hello there. Hey, thanks. How are you? I'm good. I didn't know you still got me all this. Why would you think so? Because of what happened at the church. Oh, come on. That's long forgotten. Come, come sit down. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. Thank you. So, Mr. Paul, how is life with your new wife? Well, well um, life with my new wife is good, but uh, to be very frank, life with the boss is uh, for the better. She says so. I say so. So, uh, Annabelle, how come you know Paul has a new wife in his home? Ours is a small world, Prince. Ooh. You know, if you believe in God, yeah. keep your ears to the ground and hear whatever you want to hear. My God, are you a journalist? Something like that. I freelance when I'm not busy with church activities. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you're one of those born again Christians. Are you? I don't know what you mean by that, Prince. But I know I love God. Mm -hmm. I believe in the resurrection. Mm -hmm. I keep His commandments and I try to love my neighbors myself. Oh, yeah? Oh, Paul. Yes, sir. I think we are in for another salmon. <laughs> I think so too. I think so too. Uh, anyway, Prince, I'll be on my way. I just don't know. Wait, wait. Come on, you Hold right? on. What? <laughs> what the hurry? I mean, he just came. You should at least take something. Please? Okay. If you insist. Okay. See. A juice would do. Okay. Two glasses of juice. Come on, two glasses of juice immediately. So. Now, um, sorry, Annabelle. Talking about church. Do you believe uh, the church is here or within a gargantuan edifice? Well, I don't think the church is just an edifice. No. It's on the heart, though. But God can speak to you through me or to me through you. You don't expect Him to come down from heaven and talk to you, directly tell you to do this or do that. Well, you know, He really doesn't work that way. Uh, I don't want to challenge the dogmatic approach to that, you know, but I think It's that... not a challenge. Even the Bible says so. Fellowship with the brethren. That is it. <laughs> Excuse me, please. Mm, okay. <laughs> I thought we've passed the stage of tasting drinks and food. Girl, a personality like me, not. Okay? I walk on instincts. And in fact, my boss does not take chances at all. Exactly. You're so wrong about boy. your boss. Well? He's a self-acclaimed man. That's why he's, he's, he's rude, he's, he's afraid, and he's confused. Well, that's not fair. That's not fair. Why would you say so? That's it's unfair. Anyway, friends, I just thought I should look in on you. I'll be on my way. Have a nice day. Annabelle, wait! Come on! Wait! Annabelle! Why is she angry? Huh? Is that rude to her? No, you are not. Then what's her problem? To be frank, boss, uh, <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? No. You're supposed to know. of one after the other. The Tukara plantations are suffering from erosion menace. Little or nothing 
comes from the solid mineral mines as the workers desert the site every day. Huh. What do I do? Wake up, Chief. One good turn deserves another. Freshen up. Go and meet Chief Johnson's son. I know if he sees you, he must have to do something. His late father, your friend, owes a lot of his business success to you. Prince is a baby. I wish his father is alive. Listen, Chief. Let us give him a try. It is better than sitting here all day brooding over inconsequential matters. Take you to the prince. Chief, I would have gone for a club meeting by the time you return. Cheer up, cheer up. It will be well. It's okay. I love you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chief. Your presentation was good. Thank you, Chief. Uh, give me a couple of days to get back to you. Be rest assured, we will work. Thank you once more, Chief. Thank you. We'll be on our way. Nice, hard-working boys. Their father was a nice man. Sir, I think we should study all presentations before taking decision. Why do you say so, Adam? Chief Johnson, I will also advise that we give this project to another company. I can see that both of you don't seem to support our assisting these young men. They may not be too good, but their father was a nice man. And this project falls in line with Not that. on this project. I will advise Chief Johnson that you don't base your judgment on sentiment. Sentiment has no place in business. In fact, it should be removed entirely from business dictionary. Lizzie is right. I think I have to see that boy. Let me ask you, Paul. Yes, sir. Do you think there's something I can do to make people see me as a full-grown man once they look at me? But, sir, you are more than a full-grown man. The most uh, grown-up men never made half as much money as you have under your control, sir. That's not what I mean. I need something. Maybe beard. But you have beard, sir. I mean longer beard. And moustache. Fine moustache. Yeah. And certain kinds of dressing. But, sir, I don't see anything wrong the way you dress. Shut up! For once, reason well! I start smoking cigarettes. What do you think? I think uh, your doctor will know more about that, sir. I asked for your personal opinion, not medical advice. Yes, sir. You are right there, sir. Cigarette. Cigarette is good, sir. It makes you look matured. But you see, most small boys have spoiled the exercise. They smoke it anyhow and anyway, sir. Let me think, let me think, let me think. I got it, sir. Cigar. Cigar. Oh, yes, sir. Cigar is good for you, sir, in many ways. Yes, cigar. You just puff on it, sir. You don't even swallow the smoke at all. No. It's big and expensive, sir. 
Yes, I got it, sir. Sega is meant for big boys, sir, and you are one of them, sir. <laughs> you have a point. That is it, sir. Poor! Sir. For the first time in your life, you have a point. Thank you, so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Shake me. Yes. Sega. Sega. You can go, you can go. All right, sir. Go, 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 go. Yes, sir. What is it? Oh. Let him in. Okay, sir. Ah. Oh, Chief Momo. What a surprise. It's been a long time. My boy. I no need asking you about business. Obviously, you are running the show. Like a chip of the old block. Please sit down. Thank you very much. Be careful a cigar. No, thanks. What I need right now is more than a cigar. Mm. How do you mean? You see, Prince, I'm in a mess right now. And if I don't do something quick, my over 36 year old business empire will crumble and I'm likely to die with it. That's why I'm here. I need your assistance. I see. Is it something I can do? Uh, from the look of things, I believe you are in a position to help. My company, which is halfway into a federal contract, has gone bankrupt all of a sudden. We can't pay staff salaries. The minister has refused to release funds until the projects are completed. You know the way they operate. Uh, what I'm asking of you is assistance to finish up. We divide accordingly when the payment is made. I'm afraid, Chief. <clears throat> I don't assist contractors. I don't eat leftover food. But I might be able to help you in a way. If not for anything, because you were my dad's best friend. I'll give you a loan. Oh, that would be wonderful. You may not know how difficult it has been with me. I really appreciate it. Uh, but on certain conditions, one of which is, as long as you remain my debtor, all your books will be made available to me on my request. Whatever it is I ask, so shall I. <laughs> well, it depends on what you mean by that. You will find out when my lawyer draws up the contract. And by the way, Chief, I am not your boy. Contract. But your father never asked me to sign any document. His word was always bond. Well, Chief, if you must know, my father is not me. Things have changed. I own the company now. I decide what goes. Alone. How is your day today? No, this is Paul, not him. Uh, please, just a minute. Hold on, Paul. Just a minute, please. Hold on. Hello? It's your prince on the line. 
sorry, I don't know anybody by the name your prince. Oh, that's not funny. It's no time for jokes, okay? Okay, so what is it time for? Maybe time for tasting and drinking poison? Guess what? I am preparing um, rice and stew with lots of poison in it. How about that? I, I just want to apologize for what happened. I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I promise it won't happen again. Okay. Apology accepted. Um, so do I say you're coming over for dinner? I... I'll be having a meeting with the governor this evening. I will if I can. What? Problems. Okay. Alright, you take care of yourself. Bye. Alright, Prince. Let's go. Time to go. Chief? Yes, please. The Prince instructed that I present these documents to you. They are nothing, Chief, but promissory notes stating that you must repay the loan immediately after the contract and payment made. It also clearly states that 5% interest will be charged monthly. This, I sincerely believe, is fair enough, isn't it? Yes, it is. I, I suppose the money is up to the amount I requested. Uh, 25 million naira. Yes, Chief. Also underlying these clauses is a statement that a prompt legal action will be taken should you in any manner breach this contract, either directly or indirectly. In other words, my client does not wish to attach any sentiment to this transaction. Once you put pen to paper, it will remain binding. Your client really shocked me yesterday. I trained his father in business. I, see. I groomed him like he was my own brother. But that kid is opening his mouth to talk to me with an attitude. It's embarrassing. It's, it's, it's uncalled for. Well, my client has a reputation of being discreet in whatever he does. Well, if you say so, Barista. I'll just say thank you very much. My pleasure. Yeah. Okay, and you know what you do? Hmm? Just transfer these figures from here to there. Okay. I said from here to here. I heard you. Hello. Give me Great. You know you're not used to office work. Hey, You are not a girl. You, know? mm. you see, 
Ali. You're a positive influence on my life. <laughs> Am I? Thank God then. It's just that <clears throat> that your spiritual life still bothers me. Please. God wants you to come to church regularly so that he can use you. I've heard that a million times, okay? And you know that's the truth. Please get off my back. What's your problem? What's your problem? So that boy is saying... Is that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's your mom. Uh, no, I know it's my mom. I don't want to answer. Drop it. Don't you want to answer? Drop it now. Hello. Yeah, mom, I know it's you. What? Okay. I'll be with you in the next 30 minutes. I've heard you now. I've heard you. Take it easy on mommy, what's your problem? She's always bucking me. Come on, you're such a squad. <laughs> this is my office. Okay? It's a corporate office. I'm the boss around hey, here. Hey, don't rob me. I will kill you. <laughs> Some yeah. I know, I'll get up your... Just a little helpless boy. Yes. You don't want Definitely, to sir. I'll be at the meeting. But yes. we okay, know it's all a show. To my mom's boutique. Prince, you are just a little baby boy. Someone great Prince You are Just a little helpless boy You don't want To grow But we know It's all a show Hi mom Hello son Smoking is not allowed in here. Okay. You said you're a man of habits, and your smoking just thin at, at this age. Mom. Well, what's the deal? I can't change my position now. Either you accept the money as a loan, or you forget about it. No family thing. Don't forget. Don't rush me there. I have talked with my lawyers this morning. Your lawyers? For what? By the way, won't you offer me a seat? No, I won't. If you can't do business while standing, I think you should learn it now. Well, I can't see why you are surprised at my actions when you are the chief architect. I can't be pushed, Mom. Let's talk. That's right. Now listen to me, son. Your father didn't want his property or company divided. That I know. And I'm a major shareholder of the company. So is Francis. After I talked with my lawyers, I have decided to sell our shares. That is Francis and mine. Your shares in the company is just a paltry sum. When dad bought you the shares, Johnson and Johnson was just a small accounting and consulting firm in which I have expanded it into engineering, contracting, shipping and freight, information technology, which neither you nor Francis has one naira share in. 
Sell your shares if you wish. It's worth less than 200,000. You must be crazy, Prince. You must be mad. No, I am not. I'm only playing out the script you wrote. Anyway, I don't know why you're fighting for this money. Your business is doing well. I mean, look at this place. Frances is under the company's care. And no poor brothers nor sisters clinging on. Come on, you don't need a new business. Huh? Well, I can see you have a big mouth, son. No problem. Just prepare that a big mouth for a court case. Because wherever you've expanded the company to, moon or sun, I am still a shareholder. And you know what, Sonny? I can prove it. Well, Mom, I... Come on. Mm, this issue is not one for a legal tussle. Hmm? Just relax. Give me some time. I can't quarrel with my mom. I'll see what I can do. Man, you're talking. See? That's my son. I know that will make you happy. Yeah, that's my son. All right, Mom, I, I have to go now. Have a nice day. Come on, boys. Let's go. This boy is still not back. Huh? Francis! Say he went to. I said I sent him. Young man, come here. Come here. You. Yeah, that. So this house has become a public bus where you enter and disembark as you wish. Please change it. Give him a breathing space. Can't he be free for a moment? What did I talk to my son? All I'm saying is I shouldn't shout at him. Yeah! Now I am shouting. Eh? That's how you always protect him. Look at him. Puffed up and arrogant. Because Helene does not want me to shout. Prince, come to me. Okay, Mom. Francis. Why don't you let this boy be? Eh? You're spoiling him. You're spoiling him. You're spoiling him. You're spoiling him. If any of you, either you or that kid is playing, count me out. Did he loan me money or did he borrow my equipment? Tell me, Pastor, what type of thing is this? We signed an agreement, didn't we? Now go to the site, and you see that all my equipment and the machines have been removed. Drawers, bulldozers, everything. They said your client sent them, and they showed me their power of attorney signed by you. What is this? Four one nine, obtained by false pretense. Uh, obviously, Chief, we did not read the contract very well. We were too anxious to sign them. Chief. 
being bad tempered is not going to help. I advise you see my client instead. Do you understand? You you see, Paul, Annabelle is very honest. Yes, she is. You yes, know? Of course. She's God fearing and um, I think so, sir. And she's the only person that sees me as a normal human being. You know, just like every other person. I think so. And my my wealth, my position is very insignificant to her. Yes. I think that's what is responsible. What do you think? Uh, exactly so, sir. I'm always happy with her. I mean, every time she's around me, I'm happy. Oh, my God. I've never been this happy all my life. Fine, sir. Please, sir. Uh, cheers, sir. All right, to you too, Paul. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, thank you, Paul. I want to share whole life with you, with you, with you. You, I am not your boy. Call me Prince, or Sir, or both. Or don't you think I'm up to it? Okay, Prince. Yes! I knew you wouldn't choose Sir. Like the saying, Chief, pride brings failure. Unfortunately, Chief, it is against my policy to be considerate with anyone that does not respect me. I'm sorry, Chief. You just failed the test. Please, try to help me out. At least for the sake of my relationship with your father. This is my last resort. The deadline is almost approaching. I am owing three banks with mounting interest. And if I don't do anything practical, I'll be ruined. In fact, my family depends on this company. Please, Prince, try to help me out. Uh, Prince, I think he really needs help. Why don't you try and do something for him? Annie, this is not hip hop dance there. This is business. Okay? Prince, maybe you want to see how desperate I am. And I'm going to show you. Jesus. Consider me as your father on his list begging. Please help me out. Chief, it's no use. I hardly cancel deals. Once they are signed, they are signed. Sorry, it's out of my influence now. Sorry, Chief. Come on, baby, come talk to me. So, come on, let's sit here. Let's talk to you from where we start. I don't seem to understand this business. No, I don't. 
Don't start. Ogo. I've never been so humiliated. It is something that will remain with me for the rest of my life. Chief Momo. Kneeling down for the make it. Unbelievable. You only did what you had to do. Try not to think of it as if you did it for him. You did it for yourself. It was a strategy, only that it didn't work out. Most strategies in business never work. You know. Me? <coughs> um. <laughs> Okay. You're welcome. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. I was busy in the worry. kitchen. So how is my friend Liz? Well, she's okay. In fact, she never knew I was coming this way. <laughs> I'm sorry we came back home late the other day. It was because of the traffic jam. So she said. Yes. Okay. Please um, manage this local salad. Huh? Darling. Okay. Please help me with the drink, sir. Okay. Excuse me. Okay, my I'm using the kitchen. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. okay. Thank you. Sorry. No, no, no. Why? Oko. You know me. Hmm? Or have you forgotten so soon that I'm the grandmaster? I groomed all experts in business. The indomitable Kimpio. Because things turned this way. And that kid is toying with me. Never mind. <laughs> All hope is not lost. Of course, I know that. Oh, soldier never dies, you know. Uh, yes. You see, every time I close my eyes for a moment, I see that young lady, his girlfriend, looking at me on my knees with sympathy. It is so humiliating. No business at work. Oh, not really. Oh, I'm just relaxing. You said relaxing. How come you're not relaxing in the house? What about your heart to Nana? Nana, she's fine. I guess she's doing well. Mm. Yes. So, when are you going to bring her home to see mom? I know you feel comfortable in her hands. Stop this joke, Frances. Ah. The fact remains that I love her. <laughs> Come, Frances. What's funny about what I just said? As you love her. Hmm? Still remember that there's a law that does not encourage gradual snatching. What? You understand that? Yes. I know. Yes. That woman is too old for you. Yes. She is too old for you. Listen. What if you need a breast to suck? Not that woman's own. <laughs> Little baby prince. Francis! Francis! I love you! I love you! The fact that you are my senior doesn't give me the right to talk to you anyhow. I told you to you are laughing at me. Francis! I overheard your husband telling my husband about his humiliation at the prince's office. Yes, that, 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 that little boy is becoming very, very naughty. I wish I could deal with him. May, don't talk much. My husband has briefed me. Somebody will suffer. Somebody very close to the price. You mean his girlfriend? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't even want to give me the answer. I didn't want to go to me. <laughs> um, do I get any more drinks? Yes, please. Brown? Same. The usual? Yeah. The usual. You know me. I don't change. <laughs> Look, Chief, I really don't understand this. I don't. I thought you said there would be no violence. That you won't hurt him. So why are you offering me money? I 
have been very honest with you because I know the way you feel about him. My plan, just like I have explained over the telephone discussions, is to make him sign these papers under Durex at gunpoint to force him into treating me fair for he is the only hope I have for survival. Huh? Just trust me. Nothing is going to happen to him. I swear. Chief. Chief. Chief, how many times did I call you? No, wait. So you want me to be part of a plan to blackmail a man who has been so kind to me? Just for mere 500,000 naira? A million naira. 500,000 naira will be paid to you now. The other half will be paid to you as quickly as he signs the papers. The problem is that you don't yeah, see chief, the other... Chief, it's, it's, it's a difficult task. It's a difficult task. What happens if the scheme fails? Have you paused to think of the scandal? I might even lose my life. Chill, please. Nothing is going to fail. Just do what I have asked you to do. It's going to be all right. I can even increase the amount if you so wish. Please. Speak to Prince, please. This is Annabelle. Uh, just a minute, please. Just a minute. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Annabelle. Annabelle. Mm. Mm. Uh, uh, just a minute, please. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Annabelle, how you doing? I'm good, thanks. Um, are you at home? No, no, in a restaurant. I'm having lunch. Okay, I, I would love to see. You. Really? Of course, I, I don't, I don't mind. No, not at all, not at all. I. I was just thinking, you know, maybe we could have a quiet time this weekend. Uh, so yeah, maybe Diamonds Hotels. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, okay. So room 082 then? Room, room what? Room 082. 082, right? Okay. Okay, sure, sure, of course. Pardon me, sir. Mm. You look like someone who I just won a jackpot, sir. I have, Paul. 50,000 naira, if you guess what Annabelle just told me. 50,000 naira, sir? Right, sir. No joking. I got it, sir. Shoot. She has just uh, invited you, sir, to come over to her and read the magazine all over again with her. Rubbish. What nonsense. Where is your common sense? Uh, it's lost, sir. You better find it. Exactly, sir. Anyway, let me just tell you. Annabelle has booked a room in Diamond Hotel. And she has invited me to come and spend the rest of the weekend with her. My oh, God. God. Am I fainting, sir? Yes! Oh, yes. God. That's very inviting, sir. Of course. Well, excuse me, sir. How did she put it, sir? However she put it, 
is none of your business. Exactly so, sir. Uh, but she sounded anxious. She said I shouldn't come with anybody. You know, sometimes bodyguards make me uncomfortable. Uh, you could be right there, sir. Uh, most of the things you read in your magazine, sir, could be true. Mm -hmm. Probably she now needs you more than you need her, sir. You think so? Exactly, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's eat. Thank you very much, sir. Mm. That's very good, my dear. Now you get back to your room and relax. When he comes, I will knock at the door. Then you will open the door for us and scream in fear. Understand? But, you know, he's just one man. Those, those guns, and they too much for him. Ah, no, don't. They are not going to be used. I promise you, nothing will happen to him. Okay? Okay. okay. Um, I really need to rest. Let me hurry back to my room now. That's no problem. Here he comes. Okay. <clears throat> Annabelle. Please. Please. Can I have the phone? I can't afford you changing your mind at this point in time. You still have your calls. Thank you. So, that's a good step. Driver! Move faster. I'm already behind time. Okay, sir. Move. Yes, sir. Boys, sir. These papers are the bottom line of the whole thing. Once he signs them, there will be no need to use force on him again. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes. Then one of you will run to the bank immediately and pay in the check while we hold him here. Do you understand? Don't forget to act as real as possible. I won't want us to implicate the young lady. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. It's all right.
to give you 1,000 naira just to use this phone now, please. Oh, what's in the world you? I said, I won't make another call. Ah. What's with? What is your stock now? I'm ready to give you 1,000 naira to use the phone now. One bar? Yes. Yeah, please. Okay. Oh, God. I think my wallet, my wallet, maybe it fell down. Story, or story, story. Bless you, be female ritual killer. Original 419. You don't send that money for hand, but for ground. Please come out here. For you to know I'm serious. Okay, hold my wrist for just just to hold it. Let me just use the phone, okay? Keep this. Okay, let me just use the phone, okay? Now this one I correct you. I call your number, come call your number. I'll make the call. Yeah, hello. Who is this? Prince is Annabelle. Annabelle? Where are you calling me from? Huh? Yeah. You, you're on your way. No, 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 no. Just turn back. See, there are robbers. Robbers are, are, they attacked the place. What? I'm robbers. Ah, when? Oh, okay. I hope you're fine. I hope you're okay. Yes. Just go back, okay? Please. Okay, see me later in the day. All right. Uh, all right. Oh, okay then. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Bye, bye. Driver. Sir. Turn, turn, turn. Stop. 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 Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Turn. Take me back home now. All right, sir. I'm robust. Jesus. Quickly, quickly, quickly! Okay, Maybe she lost her nerves, thinking that it would be violent. But I'm going to reassure her. We will give her some days to get back to herself. After which, I will approach her once again. Jack. Sir. Both of you will keep an eye on her. And monitor wherever she goes, okay? What if she tells the boy everything that happened. No, she won't do that. She accepted my money and the money is still with her. Last thing she will do is to let that kid have a slightest hint that she agreed to plot against him. I assure you boss that we'll do our best to keep track of the girl's movements. Sorry we lost her in the chest. No problem. It's okay. You can go. Annabelle! 
Are you okay? Fine. Huh? Are you fine? Yeah. They didn't touch you? No, I'm okay. I I've been in bed all day waiting for you. Shivering, you know. But thank God you're here. I'm so glad. I'm so yeah. glad. Everybody in that lobby that had a handset was robbed of it. Yeah. For those who had neither handsets nor money, they got brutal beating and kicks at their backs. What really baffled me then was these men were dressed like soldiers. And not only, it's not just that, they, 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 they were equipped like them too. So you mean, even if I got there with my men, it would have been terrible? Hmm? That's why I'm so glad you're here in one piece. Don't you get it? Why didn't you go with your car? Oh, my car suddenly developed a little fault, so I left it behind. Of course, I knew you would drop me off on my way home, so... I see. Yeah. Thanks for saving the lives of my men. Ah, it's nothing. <laughs> As for me, no dirty arm robber would dare touch me. I like that if you say so. <laughs> This feeling I've been nurturing in my mind for a long time. So, what is it about? I, I don't know how to say it. I hope I don't sound rude. Say it somehow. Just be careful not to sound rude. <laughs> so, what? Yes. Well, I don't have a choice. What are you doing here? Uh, 
I'm just checking on someone. I've not uh, been seeing uh, Liz for some time now. Since you abandoned her, what do you want her to do? You are wrong there. <laughs> and who is that little girl with you? Oh, Roland, you're not changed one bit. <laughs> who is that fine guy with you? If you do, Miss Fine Guy? Yes. She's my date. <laughs> Um, please, uh, Mary, um, I need to see Liz. You see, I missed her while I was in Ghana. Oh, yeah? Yes. Oh, you did, huh? Keep on dreaming. No matter what I do, all I think about is you. Even when I'm in my room, I'm in a crazy environment. She's my colleague. Mm. No matter what I do, Men, men. Hi, talk of the saints. Liz, baby. Oh, I'm happy to see you, girl. Baby girl. Yes. <laughs> um, hi. Hi, boy. Excuse me. Oh, my boy. How are you? Oh, I'm sorry, Liz. Um, I know how you feel. I've not been in town for some time now. Please, can we talk? Where? When? If you don't mind, here and now. Look, Roland. Yes. I deserve my respect, so behave. Okay, okay, okay. Um, then, uh, we are the women. Let's meet at our popular joints this evening. Time? Um, let's make it 9 p.m. Well, it's okay by me. That's all right. Enjoy yourselves. Yeah, why don't you get a seat? Mm -hmm. yeah. Liz, to be candid, I thought you had resigned your membership from the club. No way. Once a member, always a member. <laughs> <laughs> Madame never say die. <laughs> now, give me a kiss. Roland. Yes. Why did you leave me so long? Um, I didn't mean to. You know, I'm always so busy, man. Okay. <laughs> what was that? Just a click. <laughs> I didn't want to miss the action. Liz. I love taking pictures. Liz, why are you keeping quiet? Please talk to her. Over what, Roland? You mean the pictures or the fire? What fire? <laughs> <laughs> Roland. Yes. Your boss, the little prince, had a deal with my husband, Chief Momo. And the deal led to the confiscation of her husband's entire assets. You know the transaction. The file is in your custody. We want that file. Or your wife sees the pictures. <laughs> Liz, how, how, how did Mary get here? She was in there before we checked in. <laughs> Wait a minute. You mean you women set me up? <laughs> Call it what you like. What do you say? I, 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 I mean. You mean the pictures or the file? Oh my God! These women have ruined me. <laughs> Baby, let's go. My Randy Barrister. <laughs> Himself. I am well. You're welcome. Thank I you. never expected you so soon. So how was your flight? Smooth and easy. Please sit down. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So about how far now? My dear, that lady is the last chance I have to get that one. I must do everything no matter what it takes. 
even if it means applying force and violence. Even if it means putting a cord on her head, despite my poor financial position, I still managed to pay for her services. Ogo, I paid dearly for her services. Well, Momo, I just arrived and decided to come and see you first. Let me get to my office. That's good of you. You're welcome. Catch you later. All right, see you. Mom, what is so urgent that I can't wait till I close from work? Well, if you don't mind, tell your men to wait outside. I have something very important to discuss with you alone. Uh, Alright, gentlemen, wait outside again. Okay, sir. For you two. Alright, man. Wait outside with the boys, Paul. Alright, sir. Go ahead, go ahead. What is it? Let's talk. Come over this way. Come. Okay. business meeting. I have known Chief Momo for a very long time. He was your daddy's best friend. He's a good man. Cooperate with him and none of us will have anything to worry about. Cooperate with who? Momo, how could you do this to me? How could you? Do what to you? Eh? I carried you in my womb for nine months. Oh. I gave birth to you. I fed you. Love you and gave you the best things of life. And what did you use to pay me back? Denial. Denial of what rightly belongs to me. Tell me. Prince, do you know the pains of motherhood? Eh? I didn't know you treated your mother so badly, my boy. Until somebody told me. That's not good. It's really unfortunate. Here, the difference between this transaction and the one we had before is that there have been no collateral. You signed a paper that orders the release of my equipment. But naturally, I will pay you with interest once the contract payment is made. All the same, it will no longer be 25 million, but 30. And 5 million will be added to your mother, which makes it 35 million total. And you will stay here after signing everything. One of chief men will drive to the bank to transfer the money online from your foreign account. Sign this thing now, sign. 
this is the Who is that? Leave me alone, leave me alone. Send it now. Close the door. Send it now. Send it now. Send it now. Send it now. Send it Send it now. Send Mama will be happy to hear this news. Why would ourselves have bound that girl and Annabelle? With this document in our custody, there's no longer any contract. That is fantastic. Ladies, let's celebrate. Since the women know you, what do you want? Nothing, Chief. Just came to tell you that the prince died about an hour ago. What? How? Where did he die? Um, he died in his house during a shootout. Oh, the small devil. <laughs> May his soul rest well. Amen. Amen. Baby, this chair. Cheers, yes. baby. Chief. Bless you. Cheers. <laughs> Mr. Norris. Cheers. But that is not all. What next? Madam Liz? Yes. Can I help you? Chief Momo, your husband, also died in the shootout. Chief! It is a lie! What? My husband! No, 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 no,
I need to get-